Hi, fifth graders. To practice for our one-point perspective project, I've created this worksheet so that we can practice a little, which is low pressure, and then feel confident for our project. So write your name at the top. And this dot in the center is called the vanishing point. All of our lines that we draw from the corners of each shape are going to go straight to the vanishing point, which is what makes things look 3D. So maybe I start with this triangle. I'm going to put my pencil on the corner of the triangle, put my ruler against it, and then just pivot, turn my ruler until it's also touching the vanishing point. Hold it, pencil against the ruler to make a straight line. I'm going to do that from this corner. And for the purposes of our project, we're not going to go from any corners that you have to go through the shape to get to the vanishing point. So for this triangle, I would only do these two corners. If you have a round shape, you're just going to go from the very left edge. So I'm moving my ruler until it's just barely touching the oval. And then I'm drawing a line to the vanishing point. And I'm also going to do that on the right side. Now if a shape is behind another shape to get to the vanishing point, it's a little tricky. So let's look at how to do that. So I'm still going to line up my corners with the vanishing point, but I'm going to draw my line from the corner until I hit the shape and then stop. So again, I'm lining up my corner with the vanishing point, but I'm drawing my line until I hit this shape and stop. So now it looks like this shape is behind this one because they are overlapping. One is in front of the other. The last one that's a little tricky is the star because I'm, I have a lot of different points to do. So I've got this corner and then I also have inner corners. But the part that's actually pretty tricky is this corner, I'm actually going to treat it like I did with that triangle. So I'm going to line it up and draw my line until I hit this side of the star and stop there. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest and then we'll give this a practice run. Okay, so when I'm done making all of my lines to the vanishing point, um, on our actual project, it's going to be like this that we're going to start, we're going to also be using value, which is where you shade either dark or medium or light, depending on how hard you're pressing with your pencil. So before we start this, it'd be a good idea to practice on our worksheet. So when I'm practicing, I'm going to start by pressing hard. And then I'm going to, as I go on, start pressing a little bit lighter. So we're at more of a medium value. And I just keep pressing a little bit lighter as I get closer to my shape. Okay, and once you practice a few of those, then you'll be ready to start the project.